The main point of this project is to understand the impacts of spiny water flea and zebra mussels on walleye and other fish. And we know about the impacts that these invasive species have on food that walleye rely on at certain parts of their life. Um, but we don't know if walleye are able to kind of switch to other prey sources. And if they are, if they can do that everywhere or only in certain kinds of lakes. So we're visiting nine large walleye lakes in Minnesota. So that includes Cass, Winnebagoshish, Leech, Mille Lacs, Red, Lake of the Woods, Vermilion, Rainy, and Cabotogama. That's nine. <laughs> zebra mussels are a small invasive mussel that has invaded a number of Minnesota lakes that we know um, has a lot of impacts on the bottom of the food web and clearing up water. And spiny water flea are an invasive zooplankton species that eat native zooplankton and cause their numbers to go down, which can be a problem for fish who rely on those zooplankton for food. So we'll take the samples that we collect here today, which are fish and snails, insects, things like that, and we'll send them off to a lab to look at their chemical composition in a way that will tell us who's eating who in the lake and how that might change when lakes get invaded. And we're also looking at changes in growth rate of walleye and yellow perch using data collected over the past 25 years or so by DNR staff uh, to understand how growth rates of young fish might change when lakes get invaded. Generally, we just study walleye size, age, and growth, that kind of thing, and then move on to yellow perch and go species by species. But here we're integrating not only all the fish species to look at how they interact, but also invertebrates, which we usually never have the time to or money to look at. The project is really exciting and it's a topic I'm really passionate about and I think it really matters to our citizens, not just people who fish, but also people who live on the lakes and love our lakes.